As the questions continue to linger in the minds of millions of Kenyans, with the government put to task to explain why and how it decided to engage with Indian farmer Adani Group, overrunning operations of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, the largest facility in East Africa, the Kalonzo Musioka opposition-led faction have added their voice to the debate, raising concerns over the deal. Can we sell our international airport? I give you, you give a letter. He of all the scams <laughs> this country has known, this one, this one, and then he sell or take over. Pamefanya maajabu. Aha kufanya hivyo kwa kufanya secret deals. Secret deals. Yani bila kuuzisha umma bunge bunge tukimaanisha senate na national assembly. Yani unasoma vitu ambavyo ni vya ajabu kabisa. With Adani Group involved in various sectors, DAP Kenya party leader Eugene Omalwa claimed that the farm could also soon take over operations in the energy sector. Airport yetu ya Jomo Kenyatta iko ile plano kwa mwindi mwingine anaitwa Adani. Tumesikia ni airport kumbe hata kwa sekta ya kau. Sasa anaingia kwa sekta ya energy. And what we are seeing in Kenya today the Adani group was rejected kule Australia. Upande wa Sri Lanka walifukuzwa huko. Upande wa Bangladesh tumekuwa na maandamano hadi serikali ikaangushwa tukiwa na hii Adani Group. This comes amid claims that Adani Airport Holdings is targeting at least 30 acres around the iconic facility for commercial development and are eyeing a five-star hotel as it steps up its efforts of taking over operations of JKIA. The President William Ruto-led administration is under immense pressure to explain why the deal was being done under a lot of secrecy and due process not being followed, with claims that the management of the Kenya Airports Authority did forego an open tender process and decided to proceed with a Dani to save on time. If the deal sees the light of day, the firm is expected to run operations of the facility for the next 30 years, with the government not being able to construct a competing facility for the same time as well as upgrade any existing facility without consulting the Indian farm. However, the question remains, will President William Ruto listen to the concerns of Kenyans and put the deal on hold? Only time will tell. Ian Kitani, K24 TV, Nairobi.